zinc. We were amazing. Well, with these words of my compatriot, Belgian... <laughs> I know this sat down, I pressed this button, but okay. So, um, with the words of my compatriot, uh, Belgian Moroccan singer Stromae, I would like to welcome you to this wonderful event in your life, to this great achievement of your daughter, to this milestone for your son. And I'll give a very brief presentation and for that, I would like to take you back into time. <laughs> Some of you may remember this picture. Actually, not this one, because this is a picture of my own baby daughter who will be turning one this weekend. But you probably remember the moment that you knew that a daughter or a son was going to enter your life and you probably remember the excitement but also the fear, you probably remember the thrill but also the increased responsibility. And I'm sure that you looked at her very carefully the first couple of weeks, you looked at him and you wondered, what does she find interesting? What makes him tick? What makes her get out of bed in the morning? And you probably also noticed what bores her. What makes him want to stay in bed? What makes her not want to do anything? And Again, their parents, there must have been moments that you woke up, woke up at night covered in sweat, worrying and thinking, what if my son would not only be spoiled and a dictator, but also a complete idiot? <laughs> like the current leader of North Korea. <laughs> And there must have been moments, their parents, that you worried about your daughter not being able to handle her freedom and responsibility. And instead of that, choosing for an imaginary image of God and choosing for her own imprisonment and the renewed enslavement of women. But fortunately, all of you, boys and girls, made a different choice. You made a better choice. And that, chers amis, c'est formidable. Tu es formidable. Je suis formidable. Nous sommes formidables. Amazing. You are amazing. I am amazing. We are amazing. Well, most of you would probably agree, or maybe disagree with the first statement, I don't mind if I have to sit on the floor at school. Well, probably hotel management students would mind. <laughs> but you would agree with the next sentence, all I want is education and I'm afraid of no one. This is Nobel Peace Prize winner Malala Yousafzai who said this, and even if you don't fully admit it, all of you made the choice for education. Well, let's go back briefly into time, and then you will find out that only 139 years ago, women were allowed in universities. And they were not even allowed in every profession. 
So if you were at university, yes, you could become a high school teacher. A doctor, lawyer was not possible. So it took, it took many thousands of years for women to be allowed in this position. And it's wonderful to see today that the majority of women at, of people at our school are women. Et ça, c'est formidable. But also for the guys, I don't want to forget the guys in the audience. For a long, long, long time, you recognize yourself in the picture. For a long, long time, only aristocrats or sons of aristocrats were allowed uh, at universities. So that people like me who come from a common father would not be allowed here. But again, Fortunately, today you are, we are all able to enjoy, to enjoy education. And this is what we offer you. On your road to life, we give you theories, we give you models, we give you best practices. And the result will be that you will do very, very well in your life and in industry. And this means... Yes, parents, it means that your daughter, your son, sometimes has to be here at 9 in the morning, 8 in the morning, or even 7 in the morning, even on Friday mornings. It also means that our school has this obsession with examining you, with testing you all the time. You may even get crazy from all this. And once in a while, you took a hint. And sorry for my million dollar question, but who of you failed at least one test assessment or exam? Yes. Who of you failed two tests, exams? Wonderful, again. Now the good news is, it doesn't matter that you take a hit. What does matter is that you're able to stand up again and continue with your education. For those who are wondering, I took this picture at the airport of Valencia, and maybe some people who speak Spanish can read the lines there. It says, La risa les hace fuerte. Fuerte, sorry. Which means that laughter makes you strong. And yes, our school is also about laughter and celebration. So please, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate today, because also in the future, Vous serez formidable. Je serai formidable. Nous serons formidable. You will be amazing. I will be amazing. We will be amazing. Thank you.